Welcome back. So in the previous lecture, we just created the single amount column from the two debit and credit columns. Now, what if, if we get our GL in this form where we only have this single amount column and for some reason, if we have to generate the debit and credit columns separately, how we can do that? We are, let us take a look in this lecture. So first of all, let us uh, define first rule here in this column for the debits. And you know, the conversion rule that we are going to use will again be the same. And that was, you know, the positive values would mean to us in assets that they are going to be debit and the negative values will mean that they are going to be credit. But for the remaining, you know, for all the other accounts, the negative values will be going to the debit column. So I will have to define two conditions. The first condition will be on the class that please look at the class. And secondly, I will also say that please look at the value and only bring in the positive values in the debit. And when we are talking about these classes, liability, equity, income and expense, I would say that please only bring in the negative values in the debit column. So let us go there and let us start typing our functions. So I will say if now the problem is, you know, I have to write two conditions, not only the one and two conditions will mean that I cannot simply use uh, I cannot use a simple if statement. I will have to use an if and statement which will allow me to, you know, enter two logicals at the same time. So I will say if and let us enter the first logical and that is going to be for assets. So I will say if account key is, you know, less than or equal to 100 comma and now we will enter the second logical and that second logical is going to be if the amount is you know greater than zero okay so conditions have been entered so i will you know uh, close the bracket so that this these conditions are closed now and we can now move to the value if true and value if uh, false part so let us repeat again so if account key is less than or equal to 100 i mean if we are talking about assets and the amount is greater than zero then what i want is i simply want to you know answer myself with the amount else the answer should be zero and close this formula now the formula is partly complete because you know we only have worked for the assets until now so i will press enter just to you know see the balances and then let us go back to complete this equation now and let us work for the remaining accounts as well so similarly please use a plus sign and again i will be talking about an if and statement and now i will say if the account key is you know greater than 100 and the second condition is going to be if the amount is less than zero now you remember that for all the other ledgers you know for liabilities equity income and expenses the negative value only the negative value has to come in the debit side so i will say if the amount is less than zero so i will you know close the bracket and apply a comma to close these conditions now if that is true the value if true should be you know this value but since this is going to be a negative value and in the debit column we don't need the negative which the debit will define everything itself so i'll multiply that with minus one and comma and zero and close this bracket and now let us press enter and now you can see that you have now values for the debit column i will name this as debit now to check the values you can of course take a look at some of them so in this column you know uh, this was a negative value and the account key was higher than 100 so they have made it on the debit side but here you know this is an asset account the account key is less than 100 and it was a negative balance so my formula has not given me any answer at all and the reason is very simple i only asked for the positive values in case of debits so let us move on and we will finally check our data using the same report st structure that we have learned now let us define the credit column as well and it is going to be very similar so let us start f and condition and i will say let us work on the assets only so i will say if account key is you know less than or equal to 100 and the second condition is going to be if the amount column is less than zero and close the bracket apply comma and now i will say that i want the amount column but again multiply that with minus one because i don't want to see the values in negative form so close this bracket uh, before closing the bracket let us apply a, a zero as well and now close the bracket and this is something you know what we have defined the rule for the assets only now let us talk about the rule for remaining part as well if and and account key so if and the account key is greater than 
100 and this time the amount should be you know positive so I'll say greater than 0 and apply close the bracket apply comma and what I want is amount column comma 0 if the conditions are not met and close the bracket and press enter and now you can see we have the values for the credit side as well perfect now the next part is to check the values that if these are correct or not and for that we will you know the best way of doing that will be again going to the uh, pivot table and create a quick profit and loss report but for that i will have to do the data modeling so i will just take a moment off screen and do that part first so i just took a moment and i have done that data modeling for this new table as well and i have also prepared this sheet template for you so that we can quickly drag down the values here and check our balances and you can see that this new table has the name a glpo positive and negative and let us go down and let us drag the amount and the debit value and the credit value and finally let us do this check all the deb credits minus all the debits for pnl and you can see that we have the same balance which was a quick check that we have the same values in these two columns which is in the amount so i think you have found that very easy cons considering that you know we are already familiar with the rule from from the previous lecture so that is it from my side